Hi everyone, it's Adam here from Ads Productions with the review of the D-Link Eagle Pro AI AX32000 Mesh System. Not the easiest name in the world, but we move on. This is designed to create what's known as a mesh network within your home. The main goal of mesh Wi-Fi is to make sure the whole area of a building or your house is covered with Wi-Fi and that there are no dead zones. Products like this allow devices that exist on your network to have way faster speeds, larger coverage areas and a more stable, less patchy and just a more reliable in general connection. But you might be asking yourself, isn't that just what a range extender does? Yeah, that's partially true. However, a Wi-Fi extender is one simple device that extends your Wi-Fi signal by essentially just rebroadcasting it further into your home. You then have to manually switch from your home router's or router's Wi-Fi network to the extender's Wi-Fi network. And Wi-Fi extenders usually connect to your home router via Wi-Fi, but certain models also allow Ethernet or power line connections. Extenders are good for bringing Wi-Fi to rooms out of reach by your original router or router, and they also do a good job of removing signal dead zones, but you kind of have to be placing it in the area that you want to eliminate the dead zone of, rather than with mesh, where you basically cover the whole area so there's none at all. Having two separate networks, one for your router and one for your extender, is also a requirement. Whereas with mesh Wi-Fi, this uses multiple devices around your home to create one seamless network. Each of these is called a node, and they all work together to extend your Wi-Fi signal to your whole home, or apartment, or wherever you are. One node usually connects to your home router via an Ethernet cable, or Ethernet cable, and the rest of the nodes are placed around your home to where you need Wi-Fi. You don't have to manually switch to another network, the nodes automatically keep you connected to whichever node has the strongest signal, which then gives you seamless coverage everywhere. So if you walked around your house, you will be constantly connected to the correct and the right network. Mesh Wi-Fi networks are very easy to set up and are good for extending your Wi-Fi to your whole home or bigger offices, and they remove all signal dead zones. You've probably seen the term Wi-Fi 6 used quite a lot if you've been looking up networking equipment. I won't go into the technical complexities of Wi-Fi 6, but in summary, it's the newest generation of Wi-Fi that was released around 2019-2020 that functionally does the same thing, allows you to connect to the internet, no problem. However, there's a bunch of additional tech built in to make sure everything runs way smoother, faster and more efficient, and that is included within this mesh system. You also have gigabit ports, which also allows you to have smart TVs, games consoles and other devices utilise the fast and secure connection. And I'm not sure if you'd be into this sort of thing, but you also have voice control capabilities for those of you that are interested in that, because it's fully compatible with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant for convenient voice controls. Okay, so what do you actually get in the box? This is the three pack, which means it should give you about 740 square meters of coverage in your house. And within the box, you get a power cable for each of the mesh units or nodes as well as a single ethernet cable, ethernet cable, to allow you to connect one of them to your existing network and create that mesh network. But we'll get into the brief setup shortly. There's also some documentation that suggests how you can connect and start the setup process. And you've also got four packs of rubber feet that slot onto the bottom of each node to allow it to sit on your desk without the worry of scratching the surface. According to the quick installation guide that I mentioned earlier, there are three main ways to set everything up. The first option is to go to the app store of your choice and download the app called Eagle Pro AI. And then scan the QR code on the bottom of one of the nodes and then follow the on-screen instructions. This will be things like setting the connection details, the usernames, the passwords. It's just a next, next, insert the text box, next, next, complete, done process. It's not complicated. The second option is to power on the device and then connect it as it should come up with Wi-Fi access points. When you search for Wi-Fi on another device, you should be able to pick up the node once you've connected it to power. It will kind of act like an access point that doesn't have any internet for you then to connect to, and then you can go to the web browser and go to its address 
and then begin the setup process within the web browser. The third and final option you have is to connect a PC or laptop directly into the LAN port on the back and then browse to the setup address that can be found on the bottom of each unit. This basically means you're setting the node as your gateway and then you go to the gateway address so then your PC knows, okay, we're going to this gateway address which will in turn connect you to the unit to allow you to configure it and set up. Option one would probably be my preference just because it's take the app out, scan the QR code, next, next, fill in the connection details, you have a configured device. It really is very, very straightforward. Speaking of connections and ports, on the back of each of the nodes you have a power button, a 12 volt power port, a WPS button, a reset button, a yellow internet port, and two white LAN ports. The best way I can describe the form factor is if you take a box of cereal, I know it's a, a weird analogy, and half its height. You then have the form factor of each of these nodes. On top of each one you have ventilation holes which allows for as much airflow as possible to keep temperatures down. On the back of them as well you also have a whole grid of ventilation to again help with the temperatures. All of the technical information, the QR codes and all the numbers, the addresses, are all on the bottom of each unit. So you actually have to pick up the node, look on the bottom, you'll see the QR code and the connection details. On the top of each one you also have an X, which is effectively the status or status lights, which will help diagnose any connectivity issues during the setup process or just during day-to-day -day usage. You will also be able to use it as confirmation that you have everything set up during the setup process. They are very, very light devices, which is quite good if you're like me and quite indecisive about where you want to place them for best coverage. You can keep taking the power cable out, try a different room. It's not strenuous, it's not heavy. You won't even realize that you're carrying it from one room to another. It's not a thing. Don't worry about the weight of these. They are very lightweight. Once you find a place and have them configured, they are an all white design, which will make them blend into your walls and any other appliances that you may have laying around, which is good because it kind of adds to the set and forget nature of them. You will probably be using the app quite a bit, that's the Eagle Pro AI. It's a clean, well-built interface used to manage whatever D-Link devices you want to throw at it. You can view things like health status as well as configure any client devices, any network applications, any diagnostic tools that you can think of in terms of network troubleshooting, because usually network applications can be quite intimidating. However, this one is very familiar, it's light, it's got enough information to be able to understand if there's any issues and what you need to do about them, and it's also not too jam-packed so that it won't be a high level or a high learning curve, shall I say, when you're starting to use it and trying to understand your network and keep things in tip-top condition. I had this set up on my network for quite a few days. I was gaming on one side, other people were using Netflix, Plex, YouTube, NAS drives connected, they were downloading things from all over the internet. There was never any issue in terms of speed, so I had no problems there. Although to be honest, most network equipment nowadays, in terms of routers or routers, will be using Wi-Fi 6. So that will kind of be on par with whatever device you're going with, because if you're buying one that was built or manufactured after 2020, chances are it's using Wi-Fi 6. The app is clean, it's not intimidating, Anyone can use it, anyone can set up a mesh network. You don't need any networking qualifications, maybe just a basic understanding of IP addresses, ISPs, what a router is, etc, etc. Overall, speeds were fine with multiple users in the house, not reporting any problems. Perfect speeds, perfect connectivity, the app's great, the devices are clean, lightweight, and contain all of the features that you would be looking for. If someone came to me and said I need a budget mesh system and an easy to use app then to be honest I don't know what other device to recommend other than this one. Because if you're looking for a budget, easy to use, very low learning curve, lightweight and quite powerful system then definitely check out the D-Link mesh system. Thank you very much for watching this has been Adam from Ads Productions with the review of the D-Link Eagle Pro AI AX3200 mesh system. 
I'm really not a fan of the name. That's basically it though. Thanks for watching.